This is a visual representation of what our analyses show may have happened recently. While there are checks and balances in place, they fall short of the checks and balances necessary to assure a free and fair contest. And we're going to demonstrate why. We all know what the blue and red candies represent here. This is a concentrated representation, so we won't be working with millions of candies today, unfortunately. In this demonstration, we have an equal number of red and blue candies. This is not intended to demonstrate a preference for red or blue candy. Early on in the setup process, machines are checked for proper functionality when sorting. As we can see early on, one jar has all red candies in it, and one jar has all blue candies in it. Everything appears to be working as expected, but a test early on is expected. Now, watch what starts to happen. We see, for every two blue candies submitted, one of them is placed into the red jar. And what starts to happen over time is a significant buildup of blue candies in the red jar. As you can see, at the end, a good number of blue candies are in the red jar. And whomever eats the red jar clearly is eating the most, whether or not these candies were actually theirs to begin with. And it's not a slight difference either. Whomever gets the blue jar now only has 25% of the candies in this example. And because we only checked a few candies in to begin with, we missed the difference entirely, as it appeared only once a certain quantity of candies were sorted. Once the candies are eaten, it's hard to go back and check. Future sorting of candies into these same jars may prove accurate, but the only way to ensure we know who got how many candies is to compare the candies in this specific sorting event against what we know should have been sorted into the jars.